Houston. Nice hands. Drives and Hi, this is Noah with the daily announcement. For students that are un, un, for students that are unavailable to have their pictures taken for their school pictures and student ID cards, Sierra HS will have pictures makeup on the dates below. Information also includes below for seniors. Portraits makeups with David Banks Studios, 12th graders only. Additional details will be shared in the coming weeks. Senior Portraits with David Bank Studios, October 12th. Life Touch st School and Student ID Pictures, Grade 9 to 12, October 26th. Advanced Placements, AP Students, the windows now open to complete course and test reservations along with payments for spring test. An email with more specific instructions and link were sent to students and parents slash guardians. If you have an AP course that Starts trimester 1 and trimester 2. Please register and pay by the deadline date of October 29, 2021. Late payment fees apply for test orders after the fall deadline date. If you have only classes that start in trimester 2, please work with the AP counselor on the secondary deadline date only if you are unavailable to make payments by the October 30th deadline date. Second Chance Breakfast has made a comeback. CRHS students that missed breakfast arrive late to school, or are just a plain hungry once again, have the opportunity to pick up a bag breakfast at various locations around the building. After the first hour, take advantage of the great opportunity to get in line quickly. The serving stop once the warning music plays. On October 9th, CRHS is showing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in the student parking lot on a 60-foot inflatable movie screen. Pre-show music, trivia, photo ops, prize, concessions, and more. The entertainment begins at 5.30 and the movie at 7 o'clock. To celebrate the complete of our Fit for the Future construction project and open of the new space at CRHS, we are inviting our students and families to come to CRH CRHS from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and enjoy student entertainment and activities fair. We hope we are so thankful for your support and want you to enjoy a beautiful new space. I'm Noah with the Daily Announcements, and it's a great day to be a Cardinal. We will bring you all the net results and definitely all the best dance moves. So celebrate with us and give your Cardinals a shout out. Run for that favorite easy chair. And remember, not everything goes the way you want it, but this show will. Sports Night is next. Just a bit too much for the Cardinals on Thursday night. Cardinals knew they were facing a tall task, but they were going to give it their best. Green Rapids able to keep the score close early through the first set. Michaela Wilbur getting it through for the block here and the point. Wilbur had team high three kills against the Rebels. Campbell Park just too much offensively and defensively. Huge stuff block for Carly Gilt. Closes out the first set for the Rebels 25-18. Well, the Rebels completely control the rest of the match. Bella Bresnahan getting a kill in the second set. She had three on the night, but the points few and far between for the home team. Champlain Park firing on all cylinders. Gilk with a big kill in the middle. The Rebels are going to roll to a 25-7 win in the second. We'll move to the third. Cardinals down big early in that set as well. They capitalize on a weak pass to the net here through Wilbur poking it to the floor. The Rebels were dominant again in the third. Coming up here, McKenna Thorup finishes this point, and Champlain Park finishes quickly. 25-8 completes the three-set sweep. Cardinals fall to one and nine on the season. Team scores for both boys and girls are getting stronger as well. 
Girl, girls took the course first on Thursday. 13 teams and over 110 racers clogging the course on an unseasonably humid afternoon. Coon Rapids handling the heat well and trying to cope with and stay with the top groups. Seventh grader Ruby Demmer posts the top time for the Cardinals in 21.57 in, in 33rd. Senior captain Lila Gilliard came in in 47th. Co-captain Julie Hendlin not far behind, just under 23 minutes. Eighth grader Stella Bone finished 77th, and freshman Megan Fuller was 91st. Cardinals finish eighth. Boys race was even bigger, 22 teams, over 170 runners. Again, Cardinals handling the weather and track conditions well. Another youngster leading the way, freshman Yell Nordquist finished 34th in 18 minutes, 0.7 seconds. Junior Peyton Martinick just six seconds back in 40th. Fellow junior Aaron Casey takes 49th. Freshman Cole Burnett finishes in 121st place and sophomore Nolan Hazelwood takes 20, 126. <laughs>